What's up, ladies and gentlemen of Middle Earth? Ryan the Cyber Hobbit here. Time for another 1 6 scale unboxing. Today it is Bilbo Baggins, the old Hobbit version from Asmus Collectible Toys. This is an online store exclusive that came with a custom bush base and it has a limited edition size of 200. I want to quickly also mention that this came with a free hat that goes with the Crown Series Gandalf figure and I'll be showing that later on in the video. As you can see, this figure comes with a pretty unique box. It's got these page lines that sort of make the box look like a book. Really cool. When opening the box, you're greeted with an in memoriam of the late Sir Ian Holm. Kind of wish his name was written on here, but this is still a really nice touch. I've got to say, I really love these foam cutouts that the figure comes in. Really gives it a nice professional look. One of my favorite thing about Asmus figures is how well the clothes are done. But first things first, let's check out that crazy detailed head sculpt. So when I was recording this, to my memory, I thought this was almost perfect. It was only while editing now, with this side by side, do I see a lot of differences. That being said, I still think this is extremely well done. Perhaps their choice of his facial expression is the only thing that's really throwing me off. If you picked up the recent Weta Workshop 1-6 scale Bilbo, here's a comparison to the head sculpt. I think there's no denying the Asmus figure looks a bit more like Ian, but at least the Weta Bilbo is smiling. Really nice job on the hair sculpt. I usually prefer the lifelike hair on some of the Asmus figures, but I think this was the right choice for Bilbo. A nice little colorful tie. I think it goes well with the inside of his coat. Very nice pattern on this. Bilbo has a very fashionable style, that's for sure. Great stitch work on his red vest, though I do believe it's a bit brighter than it should be. Cool little snazzy buttons and pockets. Nice choice of fabric for his brown trousers. And wow. Nice feet there, buddy. Giant, hairy, and dirty. Perfect. And even the bottom. Oh wow. The hideousness of that foot will haunt my dreams forever. Again, Asmus may stumble on a few things, but they really have closed down pad. Like most Asmus figures, this guy has over 22 points of articulation, allowing you to pose him however you want. Though because hobbits are bare feet, there is no joint in the heel, but I think I prefer having good looking feet than seeing a visible ball joint, even if they are hobbit feet. This also comes with an extra head, the scary Bilbo face. And isn't that just beautifully terrifying? I've gotta say, while I do think this is well done, I would have just preferred getting an extra head that is... smiling? So far that's my really only big complaint. When I think of Bilbo, I think of him smiling. But maybe that's just me. And under the phone cutout, we have a whole bunch of accessories. Let's start by checking out his nice little backpack. Seems to be made with genuine leather, and some different cloth materials. Cool little leather straps. With what looks like functioning buckles. Nice little gold designs. And it seems to have some foam in it to give it a field look. Next we have his brown traveling jacket. Seems to have some good stitching. The inside has a nice kind of felt material. Not much more to say. It's a jacket. Next up is his little cooking pot. Has a little functional handle to it. Nice job on the paint application does look metal. 
You can put the pot through one of these straps on the backpack and it's meant to hang like this. Next up is this cool little brown cup. I'm not exactly sure where this was in the movies. If you know, leave a comment and let me know. If I had to guess, it's probably somewhere when he was in the Shire. And I'm really happy they included this. It's the Red Book of Westmarch. The book written by both Bilbo and Frodo, and then later Samwise. And yes, it has actually real pages. And not just blank pages, but filled real pages. Great attention to detail with this. I was not expecting real pages. And I'm a bit hesitant to open it all the way, as I don't want it to be warped. Still really cool though. Next up is Bilbo's pipe. So tiny, but still has a good amount of detail. It's a bit longer than I was expecting though. I will admit I'm comparing it to my Noble Collection pipe, but I'm still very happy they included this, as it's sort of a signature thing for Bilbo. Or at least in the Hobbit movies. And the last accessory is his walking stick. Not too much to say about this. Looks like a tiny stick. <laughs> and of course, we can't forget the hands. One of them even has the ring. There's even a pair of hands meant to hold a weapon. Though there's no weapon. I guess there's nothing stopping me from borrowing the sting that came with Frodo, though. The last thing in the box is the custom bush base. When I first looked at it, I thought it was supposed to use the little brown area that has a little curve as a spot for his heels, but it turns out that's just kind of meant to be a stump. A concave stump with a split going down the middle of it. I think the dirt area looks pretty nice, but the rest of it I'm not the biggest fan of. Don't get me wrong, it's still much better than the other bases that typically come with Asmus figures. On the bottom, it has an online exclusive sticker that has the edition number. And before I do the final reveals, I want to quickly show off the new hat that Asmus has been sending out that goes with the Crown Series Gandalf. It's not a cloth hat, but in my opinion it does look pretty good, though there are some pretty obvious dividing lines. From my understanding, they are including this with any new purchase for free, though I do think they should just allow people to pay for the shipping and have them send it out. I know a lot of people are not happy with the current hat. I've even seen some people modifying theirs to fix the issue. Still, I think it does go to show they're at least listening to feedback. Good job, Asmus. In summary, I think this is a great Bilbo. It has a lot of things I think they did right, and a couple of things I would have preferred different. My biggest complaint is probably the lack of a happy, smiling Bilbo. That's just what I think of when I think of Bilbo. Though I have to commend them on making the scary face. You can definitely make some interesting poses with it. <laughs> Though I will probably keep Bilbo in his travel gear, ready to go off on another adventure. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and also subscribe. I have about 12 more of these Asmus figures I own I've just yet to unbox, so I'll definitely be doing more of these videos in the future. And that's the end of this video. Until next time, bye bye